Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the demo smoother that's built into the source recorder. You can use the demo smoother in any source game but I am going to um, use it in Left 4 Dead 2 because it works slightly different than other source games. So, the first thing you want to do is open up your game, obviously. Okay, so when you're in the main menu, just uh, load up any demo file. I'm just going to load. Um, I'm going to load a demo file that I recorded earlier. Okay. Now I'm just going to pause the uh, video here. Uh, what I'm going to do in this tutorial, I'm just going to make a small flythrough of this map. And, um, well, obviously, we need the demo smoother for that. So, when you have your demo playback window here, there are three buttons here in the, in the bottom. There's drive, there's edit, and there's smooth. Now I'm just going to click on smooth you get this complicated looking menu uh, and the first thing you want to do is hit reload that's a button on the right here okay um, when you've hit reload you need to make a selection of uh, the frame where you want the demo smoother to start and the frame where you want it to end so I'm gonna start this at about frame 50 or tick 50 and I'm gonna end it at um, 3000 and then click select you can see all these lines appear here uh, these lines basically represent um, the camera uh, basically if you would leave it at its original position okay next thing you want to do is hit show processed that's a button in the bottom here and then pause show processed pause okay now that's basically um, uh, all the settings that we need. The game might become a bit laggy now because of all the lines and shit. So just yeah, so laggy. Okay. Now on top of the uh, demo smoother window here, you can see that that it's at tick 72 right now, and uh, I want to go back at tick 50. And now we're going to change the camera angle. But first, because I'm going to make a fly-through video, I'm going to open the console and type the following commands: um, cl draw HUD zero and r draw view model. Yeah, draw view model zero. And there we go. The HUD is still there for some reason doesn't really matter it's for tutorial reasons anyway okay uh, now we're going to make new camera angles um, first of all in your standard demo playback window here you want to hit drive and then um, there's in the demo smoother window there's a button here called make key it's right at the bottom here you need that uh, the entire time, basically. Now, I'm the first camera angle for me is going to be right here. So I'm just going to click Make Key. And now we've made a key. By the way, the Drive button that I just clicked, I didn't need it just then, but this allows me to fly through the map. Okay, now you can see, in between all these lines, there's a little box here. And a line that comes out of it. That's basically the camera and uh, the way it's pointing. Okay, so now I'm going to go to um, a new tick to uh, let's say eh, 100. You can also use the jump to um, jump to tick box right here. 
Okay, now make the following key. Uh, and now we actually need the drive thing. Um, now, in Left 4 Dead 2, making keys is slightly different. In, for example, TF2, you just move to the position and then press the Make Key button. In Left 4 Dead 2, you have to hold the Make Key button and then move to the location you want to and then release it. Like that. And there we have it, our new key, and you can see a line that runs from the cameras. Okay, now, uh, if you want to make a fly-through video, just repeat these steps over and over again. Um, I'm just going to go at ticket 150 now, and make another key. Okay, well, that's really all there's to it for a fly-through video and uh, for changing camera angles. So I'm just going to speed the video up here because, well, I'm going to go through the entire map with this. Okay, we're almost done here. Uh, this is the last key that I'm, I'm going to place. And there we go. That should do. Okay, now that I've placed all these camera angles, um, I want to um, do a few more things. First of all, I'm going to deselect drive. It makes navigating the menus a bit easier. So, um, when you're done, you have this uh, button here called Process. It's right below the Start Tick, End Tick, and Edge Ticks. Click that, and then click Spline Angles. And then click it again, and click Spline Origin. And there you go. All new kinds of lines appear. Um, okay, and then we're basically done. All we need to do now is save it. So click save. And it's done. Uh, what it's done now, it's basically um, made a copy of the original dem file, but with the uh, smoothing part um, put into it. It saved it as the same, uh, with the same name as the original, except at the end it says underscore smooth. And you can find it in the same folder where all your other dem files are. Okay, so, well, click OK. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's got to load the uh, dem file here. As you can see, tutorial was the original. Tutorial underscore smooth is the smooth one. So, I open that. Okay, so the smoothing kicks in at frame 50 so let's have a look I could have done this a lot better but I didn't put that much time into it it's not as smooth and as good looking as it uh, as you may want it to be see I go through walls all the time But I think this gives you a good idea of what you can do with the demo smoother. So, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, put them in the comment section or send me a PM.